The GTX 1080 Ti and the RTX 3060 are two graphics cards that are both top of the line options, even though they come from different generations of technology. The 1080 Ti was released in 2017, whilst the 3060 was released in December 2020. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at their specifications, power rating, price and performance to help you decide which one is the best choice for your needs. So let's get straight into the specifications. The 1080 Ti has 11 gigs of GDDR5X VRAM and 3584 CUDA cores. It has a base clock speed of 1481MHz and a boost clock speed of 1582MHz. The 3060 on the other hand has 12 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM and 3584 CUDA cores. It has a base clock speed of 1320MHz and a boost clock speed of 1777MHz. The 3060 also has support for ray tracing and DLSS, which are features that the 1080 Ti does not have. There's also the difference in generation which we can't help but notice. Nvidia's GTX and RTX graphics card generations are both highly popular among gamers and enthusiasts, but there are some key differences between them. The main difference between the two generations is the inclusion of ray tracing technology in the RTX cards. Ray tracing is a technique for creating more realistic lighting and shadows in games, which could greatly enhance the overall visual experience. The RTX generation is also built on newer architecture, known as Turing, which is more efficient and offers a better performance than the previous generation architecture. Another key difference between the two generations is the type of memory used. RTX cards use GDDR6 memory, which is faster and more power efficient than the GDDR5 memory used in the GTX cards. When it comes to power rating, the 1080 Ti has a thermal design power of 250 watts, whilst the RTX 3060 has a thermal design power of 170 watts. This means that the 3060 is less power hungry and will generate less heat, making it a better choice for those who are looking to build a quiet or compact gaming PC. The 1080 Ti was originally released at a price of $700, but you can currently get a good deal at around $275 for a used one. On the other hand, you can get a brand new RTX 3060 at a price between $300 and $360, However, it is important to note that the 3060 is a newer graphics card and it's more power efficient. Additionally, it does support ray tracing and DLSS, which are features that can greatly enhance the gaming experience. And when comparing the price to performance ratio, the 3060 is better value for its price as it offers a better performance. The 1080 Ti on the other hand is an older graphics card that's less power efficient. It's also worth noting that the availability of these graphics cards are subject to market trends and stock levels, which can cause their prices to fluctuate a lot. So, in a way, we can still say the RTX 3060 is a better option than the 1080, since you'll be buying a new card for just a few more bucks. The RTX 3060 outperforms the 1080 Ti in terms of rasterization performance, and the 3060 owes this to the faster boost clock speed. Additionally, the RTX 3060 has greater VRAM, Thus it will perform better if your game requires a lot of it. And when it comes to streaming performance, the 3060 also offers a considerable improvement over the 1080 Ti. The 3060 manages this thanks to the NVENC hardware encoder that unloads the encoding procedure from the CPU. The 3060 also has a HDMI 2.1 output that enables 4K at 60fps streaming. As for the ray tracing performance of both cards, the 3060 sure has an edge over the 1080. The 3060 can render at double the resolution and has twice as many ray tracing cores. There's also the DLSS neural network in the 3060 that helps to upscale its images to enhance the quality. With all of that said, let's now take a look at the performance of these two graphics cards in some of the most popular games on the market at 1080p. In Cyberpunk 2077, the RTX 3060 has an average frame rate of 62 FPS, while the 1080 Ti has an average frame rate of 55. In Call of Duty Warzone, the 3060 has an average frame rate of 175, while the GTX 1080 Ti has an average frame rate of 150 FPS. And in Strange Brigade, the GTX 1080 Ti comes out victorious, with an average frame rate of 168 FPS, over the 3060's average frame rate of 153. Moving on to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the 3060 comes out on top again, as it achieved a frame rate of 68 FPS compared to the 60 FPS we get with the 1080 Ti. The 1080 Ti fared no better in Red Dead Redemption 2, as the 3060 takes the lead again at 71, whilst the 1080 managed to achieve 64. In The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, we see the 1080 Ti leading again, at a frame rate of 140 FPS, whilst the 3060 came in at 120 FPS. 
And in Far Cry 6, the 3060 wins again with a frame rate of 92 FPS, whilst the GTX 1080 Ti trails behind, though with little difference, at 89 FPS. It's clear that the RTX 3060 offers better performance at 1440p, even though with little differences, as the 1080 Ti beats the card in some other games. The first game on the list is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. At 1440p, the 1080 Ti gets an average of 78 frames, whilst the 3060 gets an average of 82 frames. And in Battlefield 5, the 1080 Ti and the RTX 3060 had a very close run, with the 1080 Ti winning by just one frame, with frame rates of 98 and 97 FPS respectively at 1440p. Similarly, in Metro Exodus and Red Dead Redemption 2, the 1080 Ti also offers a slightly better performance, getting an average of 57 FPS, compared to the 3060's 55 FPS. The 3060, however, performs better in Far Cry 6, with 69 FPS, compared to the 1080 Ti's 66 FPS. Another game where the 3060 outperforms the 1080 Ti is Cyberpunk, with an average of 39 frames, compared to the 1080's 36 frames. And in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, with an average of 54 frames per second, compared to the 1080 Ti's 53 frames per second. Overall, it's safe to say that the 1080 Ti fared better in 1440p resolution, compared to what we get with it at 1080p resolution. Now, let's talk about how the 1080 Ti fared at 4K performance, especially since the RTX 3060 again offers better performance. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the 1080 Ti gets an average of 42 frames at 4K, while the 3060 gets an average of 44, which is just a performance difference. But in Battlefield 5, the 1080 Ti wins once again, as it gets an average of 60 frames at 4K, whilst the 3060 gets an average of 57. And when it comes to Red Dead Redemption 2 and Hitman 3, the 3060 also offers a better performance to some degree, coming in at 35 FPS and 56 respectively, compared to the 1080 Ti's 31 FPS and 55 frames respectively. It's well worth noting that these numbers are approximate, and may vary depending on your system configuration, drivers and other factors. But at the end of the day, the 3060 is an excellent graphics card that offers a lot of value for its price. It has a higher performance than the 1080 Ti in most of the games tested, and the difference in performance ranges from 10% to 25%. So, if you're looking for a powerful graphics card that won't break the bank, the 3060 is definitely worth considering. But if you're looking for the absolute best performance and are willing to spend some more money, the 1080 Ti is still a great option. Ultimately, the choice falls onto you. It will come down to your budget and your specific needs. What do you think of these two high-end graphics cards? Which one do you see yourself buying in the future? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you guys are looking to spend a little bit more money on a GPU, make sure you check out our video on the best GPUs for 2023. And with all that being said, we've come to the end of our video for today. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. We're always uploading educational content and want you to be a part of the family.